well, all right. I was brand new in New Guinea, and the pastor was out on his rounds, and Sunday afternoon they went out to Kukunai, as they said, Kukumpunai, meaning they would, well, the whole village, as usual, the whole village would go, the men, and take their spear, and then uh, they take some fire along, and then at one season of the year, there's very, this rain is less, so the grass would be six foot high and dry, and they would go to a certain section where there'd be a lot of rolling meadows and hills, and they would ring around the edge of it, and then set fire to it, and slowly the fire moves in, and of course the wild pigs is what they're after, will get catch on and then make a dash for it, and then they get them, and of course if they miss, uh, they're in trouble. It didn't, it would, could happen, because the wild pigs are vicious, they're not, you know. So this Lulwai, who was the head man, tall and handsome and effective, and he had two women. Women would, would mean prestige and bigger gardens and more pigs, because women took care of the animals and their gardens. So it was more of that thing than anything else. <clears throat> he was the only pagan in the whole area. And he went down on a spur of the hill, not being careful, and the wind shifted and swept behind him, and then the fire um, came down and burned the skin off him. And they come up to the house and Dad said, Fiery kiss and Lulu eyes. So I I got some Vaseline and <laughs> some bandage, and I said, all right, and I went down to see him. And, um, well, he was gone, he was pink. He was burned completely, and the nerves were dead. So he was, he was compost, he was not in any pain. And well, it's obvious he wasn't gonna, he would never make it. And I said, I, I said, I think you're, it's over. I know. Well, I said, I'll baptize you, but if you should recover, you'll have to get rid of one of your women. <laughs> oh, I can do that. Okay. So I, I baptized him, and then I anointed him. Well, I said, it's four o'clock. I said, by supper time, you'll probably be in heaven. So would you do me a favor? He said, sure. I said, would you mention Kelty, my name, when you get there? <laughs> yeah, I can do that. So, my, my name may be written in heaven, but it's been heard there, too. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was kind of, I, I got a great joy out of that. Well, I, my name has been written in heaven, it's been heard there, too. I said, mention to your people, the Bacara, where you're from. I think God will be glad to hear that. He died a sweet, you know, a, a beautiful death, a very resigned and no anger or resentment, nothing. So we buried him.